Good afternoon, General Counsel. I am joined today by the very Reverend David Giuliano, former moderator of the United Church and author. And David today has just wrapped up a book signing of his new book. I saw many people lining up to uh, talk to you about the book and to get it signed. And I am thrilled to be joined by David to chat a bit about this project. So firstly, welcome David. Well, thanks. It's great to have a chance to talk with you about it, Lauren. I'm so glad to be here with you, and, and thanks for saying yes. So I'm wondering if you can start off by just telling us a bit about how this project started. What was the seeds of this book? Well, of the book in particular, I was invited to be a patient plenary speaker at the Health Quality Ontario Conference in 2016. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, I got a lot of good feedback and said, where's the book? Hmm. And I said, there isn't a book. <laughs> and they said, you should write one. So I did. Yeah. And then what was the process once you had that kind of affirmation of you should write one? Did it, did it flow quickly? How did it, how did it come to be? Well, uh, it certainly it was a built around what I said at that conference. Uh, some of it is material that uh, was from blogs in 2008, 6, 7, 8, 9, when I was moderator. Some of it's more recently, but uh, and some of it's from journals and things like that. Uh, just kind of trying to expand the narrative mm -hmm. around uh, cancer, illness, suffering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you, your journey, 25 years cancer journey, mm -hmm. um, and... And as you say, you've created this book out of kind of a compilation of many different pieces. Mm -hmm. And what was that process like for you looking back on blog entries and um, journal entries and starting to, to bring together pieces that reflect different points on this journey? Well, uh, first of all, it made me sick sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't feel well revisiting some of those mm -hmm. places, but it was okay. And mostly it was a wonderful reminder, as the title is says, it's good to be here. Mm -hmm. And I, I have a Facebook page and a website where I encourage people to say, it's good to be here, wherever they are, and, and to share that with one another. Um, the other thing I'd say is it's, it's probably the more, most vulnerable thing I've written. And so I, I'm walking around, I know people are reading it and feeling just a little bit naked. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I think you know, we need to tell the truth and be authentic when we're trying to write something like this. Absolutely. And so have, what kinds of reactions have you got so far from people who have read the book? Well, it's just out, so uh, not that many people have read the book. Uh, Pearl, my wife, really likes it. <laughs> Good. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, who, David Wilson, who uh, did the initial edit, uh, was very supportive. And what's interesting for me, I was reaching for an audience beyond my usual audience, which is the church and religious people. And you'll notice that the endorsements uh, that I sought were from medical professionals. And th it was good for me to hear them saying, yeah, this is stuff we have to think about in healthcare, and, and to recognize that uh, the story about uh, illness and suffering is not one dimensional. It's not just the battle with whatever. And did you find, uh, as you've gone through your journey and as you are a spiritual leader, that this was something that, that, that there's a gap in how we kind of look at suffering and illness in terms of the spiritual dimensions? Well, and I think there's a lot of religious stories that can come across as judging, you know, like if you had enough faith, you would get cured or God's teaching you a lesson or everything happens for a reason uh, that, that I, I don't, uh, did not find helpful. Um, during the period when I was moderator, it really uh, was a profound time in that I was elected feeling like I was young, healthy, uh, vital, creative, and then I went into cancer treatment almost immediately after. And so it was a challenge to learn to lead from vulnerability and from weakness. And for me, it became a way of saying uh, or seeing the church as uh, what was happening in my body, in many ways, our experience of loss of power and our becoming more vulnerable as a church uh, reflected in that. And so I tried to speak uh, from that place. Well, thank you. Thank you for offering this gift of, of writing and of vulnerability. Thank you for being here in your vulnerability, wandering around in your nakedness, as yes. you say. <laughs> and, and thank you for just uh, continuing to lead us as, as a church and um, 
and lead us with your, your wisdom and grace. So thank you, and thank you for taking the time to chat with me today. Okay, thanks, Thanks Lauren. so much. We'll be joining you back later with lots more stories from the floor of General Counsel. Take care.